Hello, and I hope you're as excited as I am about bringing you this message. I want to stir your heart. I want to get you fired up. And one of the ways that we're going to do it is by coming to you straight with Go Juice. That's the title of this message as we begin this unstoppable greatness mindset journey together. Go Juice. Do you have Go Juice or no juice? What's it going to be? This is core. This is key. This is foundational. You got to have Go Juice. What is Go Juice exactly? What is the go for it mindset mentality? It is first G. It's a green light mindset mentality. Green light. Not red, not yellow, but green. You got to step into your destiny. You got to step into your greatness. You got to step into the unknown and go for it. Get it done. Green light mentality doesn't mean you're not going to fail. Doesn't mean you're not going to have setbacks. But you keep stepping into it. You keep going for it. Oh, overachieving spirit. That's that extra effort mindset and spirit inside of you. That's just going to unleash everything that you've got. That's inside of you. Old school effort. Old school sacrifice. Don't try to protect yourself from failure or falling down or getting a little bloody. No. An overachieving spirit goes all out. Full. So when you put it together, green light mentality, overachieving spirit, it's, it's, it's over. You got it. You got it. This is something now will carry on for your life. But you got to tell yourself over and over again. Well, let, let's ask a couple questions. What two work ethic character traits define you? Really, you got two. One is kind of positive. Positive, intense, responsible, kind of a mindset. Or you're negative, lazy, an excuse maker. You see, you want to be in that positive flow of go to be responsible and to always be intense. If you're always negative, if you're always doubting yourself, if you're always making excuses, you're going to be lazy. We're not going to have any of that in this program. We're going to challenge you. We're going to challenge you. You know, I had a tough time. With this story, I'm going to tell you, it's really tough. And I had to figure out just how much go I had. I started to use go in high school, sophomore in high school, and it did me really good. By the grace of God, I was able to achieve a lot of success. Then I go into college. Good things are happening. Now I get to my senior year. And this is where everything was on the line for me. I had worked so hard the summer before and I didn't want to just have a good, uh, you know, like senior season. I wanted to have one for the ages. And so I was, I was moving along as the season began. We had a new coach. We had a new coaching change. And my previous coach, he just gave me the green light, let me really play. And, I, and my giftings were just coming out. And so I just started going, and, I, and I'm scoring a lot. And back in, in, back in, in that time, there was a, an annual award for the top Christian college athlete in the country, and it was named the Peter Pitch Award. And I was like seeing it and going, with what I'm averaging well over 20 points, I'm going to, like I might have a shot at this. And we're winning, and things are happening. Well, then problem started and I didn't know what was going on my coach we started losing a few games and the coach he was a young guy he was a young coach at the time this was his first head coaching experience and he was like it's your fault you need to pass the ball more 
you need to do this, you need to do that. At first I'm going, okay, well, I'll make some adjustments. And, you know, so I started making some adjustments. And and then every time, he, you know, he got back to me again, I started, like, again, attacking me. Again, you know, like, blaming me. And so I was a young Christian, just, you know, giving my life to the Lord. I was young and... And so I was like, oh, God, I had to be obedient to the Lord, you know. And I started journaling everything. And I just started, I said, I'm just do whatever he says. And so I just go in and I just get 12 points. We lose. Eight points, we lose. 16 points, we lose. And my average just started going down, down, down. And people start questioning me. go, Mendel, what are you doing? Why aren't you going for it? Why don't you have this go for it mindset? I go, hey, man, the coach is just telling me to do this and to do that. And I'm just trying to like, they're going, but you're, but it's hurting the team. You're not helping the team doing this. You got to, you got to go, got to unleash this. And I'm like, no, you know, and he wasn't saying anything. It was like he was appeasing some of these other players that maybe he had some jealousy. I don't know for sure. And so it finally got to the point where we were losing. We just couldn't, we couldn't get any traction. I'm being defeated. I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to get the Pete Maravich award now. Because, you know, just these games have just, you know, diminished my point total. And my, my, my point average was still up high, but it, was, it wasn't at that level that you needed to have it at to try to get this prestigious award. So I was just bummed out. Finally, I just kind of like made a decision, okay? Sometimes you just have to make a decision, for better or for worse. And I said, you know what? No. I can kind of see what's going on here, and I'm going to play my game. And if he benches me, he benches me. And so I just started playing and we started winning again and, and, and God was doing some really amazing things and it started then, you know, and I was down and I, I just, and everybody was like going, okay. And so my season ended up, you know, pretty good and it, you know, it was pretty solid. I was still bummed out about why did this happen my senior year? But you know what? Because I ended strong, because I stayed the course and I kept that green light mentality, overachieving spirit, even though it wasn't like laziness or an excuse making situation, I just like, I was just trying to do what I thought was right for everybody, but I decided to take a chance on myself. So I just played my game and it worked out. But you know what? The turnaround didn't stop there because I got to go overseas and play four years over in Europe, three years in Germany and one year in Austria. And it was because of a go for it mindset. You see, I was down and out. I had every reason to, to, to doubt myself, doubt what was going to happen, but I just, I stayed the course. I stayed with it. I didn't let that shake me and break me. And then I'm overseas playing and I'm playing against all this competition. And I, you know, I marry, you know, I get married after my first year and, and have, have our first child. And it's just, it is the time of my life played all over Europe, got some great opportunities, and nobody can take that from you, just like nobody's going to take from you what you're going to achieve through our time together. I want to leave you with some success points. I want you to seize the moment. When is the moment? The moment is now. It's now. It's not tomorrow, it's now. I want you to secure the mission. What is the mission? The mission that you're going to unleash your greatness that's inside of you. And then you're going to soar in momentum because you seize the moment, because you secure the mission, you're going to soar in the moment. I believe that we've come together for such a time as this. This message, you can use this for the rest of your life in any situation that you're in and know that you're not counted out, 
but I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. I'm with you. I'm on this journey together with you in spirit. You are going to succeed with the go mentality, go juice. You will not be conquered. Go practice go juice every day in the little things. Thanking your parents, stepping out and helping somebody in need. Show that green light mentality and go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. When they tell you, you know, hey man, practice is over, stay in the gym. Put up a hundred more shots or whatever it is that you're working on. Give it that extra effort and watch that go juice will do the same thing for you that it did for me. I don't know what that means because your destiny and your road is different than mine. But I know one thing, it's going to be great until we meet again. Go for it. Go Jews. You got this.